95% of the world's oceans remain unexplored, and do you know what that means? Why, it means that there are still a lot of creepy creatures down there, both big and small, yet to be discovered. That's why marine biologists are constantly exploring the deep to bring these animals to the literal light. Today, we will be looking at the scariest creatures scientists have recently managed to dredge up from the deep. Make sure you stay tuned for number one. It might look cute, but I find the place it chooses to lay its eggs quite disturbing. Here are 10 creepy deep sea creatures recently discovered. Number 10. The Ninja Lantern Shark. Scientists have just discovered a new species of shark, and when I say just, I actually mean a couple of years ago. One with jet black skin, bulbous eyes, and special cells that allow it to glow in the dark. They call it the awesome nickname of the Ninja Lantern Shark. It was officially named after Peter Benchley, the author of Jaws, but not because he was a ninja. Its scientific name is Etmopteris benchleyi. This shark uses photophores in its skin to produce a faint glow in the deep, dark ocean. Scientists believe the animals, which can grow to about half a meter in length, use this cloaking ability to blend in with the limited light penetrating the ocean's depths and appear invisible from below. This helps them sneak up on small fish and shrimp while also avoiding becoming lunch for larger predators. How it got its common name is pretty amusing. It was brought about that a scientist working on the shark had a discussion with kids about the lantern shark, telling them how stealthy it was. This super stealth combined with the animal's sleek black appearance led the kids to suggest the name Super Ninja Shark. Fortunately, the scientist was able to convince the kids to scale the name back a little or her colleagues might not have taken her seriously. Number 9. The Dusky Snout Cat Shark Another shark of the genus Bytholaris, the largest family of sharks with about 160 species, has been discovered a couple of years ago on seamounts in the southwestern Indian Ocean. This discovery is, of course, the Dusky Snout Cat Shark. This new discovery was named after its prominent dark dusky snout in contrast to its uniform light gray-brown body. It is by far the largest of all known cat shark species, with males reaching around 22 inches in length and females at about 20 inches. They also have the greatest range of any deep water shark species and can be found in waters as deep as 4,800 feet and as shallow as 292 feet. As for the reason why it made it on this list, well, aside from one of the latest shark species to be discovered, just look at that face. You'd have to have nerves of steel if you don't shudder when you see one of these frightening creatures swimming right at you, no matter how small they are compared to other, more popular sharks. There's something about its coloration, weird body proportions, and that unnatural grin that kind of gives you the creeps. Number 8. The Mariana Trench Jellyfish not much is actually known about this jellyfish caught on video by a deep-sea submersible sent down to the depths of the Mariana Trench. Since its discovery, it has only been called the Mariana Trench Jellyfish. It was found by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration ship Okeanos Explorer and its ROV Deep Discoverer on the Enigma Sea Mount near the Mariana Trench. It was discovered floating 2.3 miles beneath the surface of the water. At that depth, there is virtually no sunlight, so animals living down there had to adapt. Most of them, like this new jellyfish, are able to produce its own light using light-producing cells called photophores. There is something eerie about how this jellyfish produces its own light, though. The light actually makes it look like a UFO floating around in the dark water. If you're saying that doesn't creep you out, I don't know what will. Number 7. The Pacific Black Dragon. The Pacific Black Dragon is a deep-sea predator that lives in the deep waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean from about 700 to 3,300 feet deep. Though they spend most of their time in these deep waters, Pacific Black Dragons are known to migrate toward the surface. And this is mostly at night, following the preferred prey of small crustaceans and other fishies. Now, I'm going to admit that I'm cheating here a little bit, because the Pacific Black Dragon has been known to scientists for quite some time now. However, recent studies on the species have resulted in something remarkable. The black bodies of the Pacific Black Dragon are actually the second blackest material on Earth. As they are ambush predators, their bodies are dark black, and even their stomachs are coated with black tissue to block out any light that might be produced by bioluminescent animals that they eat. Along their dark bodies, Pacific Black Dragons have several rows of specialized light cells, called photophores, that are probably used to attract mates. 
The same expedition that gave light to the second blackest material on Earth also actually discovered the blackest material on Earth, and it's also found on a fish funnily enough. And that fish is number six, the Fangtooth. Like the Pacific Black Dragon, the existence of the Fangtooth has been known for a long time. This menacing creature haunts the deep waters of many of the world's oceans. The Fangtooth gets its name from its rather impressive looking teeth, which are actually the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean, when taken in proportion to body size at least. Because of its unusually grotesque appearance, the Fangtooth has earned the nickname of Ogre Fish. It's also referred to by some as the Common Saber Tooth. Undoubtedly the most noticeable characteristic of this species is the teeth. They're so large that the fangs on the lower jaw actually slide into specially formed pockets in the roof of the mouth when the jaw is closed. These teeth become a formidable weapon as the fangtooth hunts squid and other small fish. However, these teeth are no longer the fangtooth's most unique feature. The ultra-black fangtooth has scales that are so black that it actually absorbs 99.5% of all light, making them appear as little more than silhouettes, even in direct light. Number 5. Ephemeria Quasimodo Here is a new species whose name might ring a bell. This amphipod, about two inches in length, Ephemeria Quasimodo, is named for Victor Hugo's character Quasimodo the Hunchback, in reference to its somewhat humped back. It is one of 26 new species of amphipods of the genus Ephemeria from the Southern Ocean, all of which have incredible spines and vivid colors. The number of species and their extraordinary morphological structures and colors makes the genus Epimeria a veritable icon of the Southern Ocean that includes both free-swimming predators and filter feeders. They are abundant in the frigid waters surrounding Antarctica. In 2007, it was assumed that this species was known, but recent discoveries show that we actually know very little about these adorable invertebrates. Number 4. The Swire Snailfish 26,000 down into the deep blue sea resides one of the creepiest looking fishy fiends. In the dark and uncharted abyss of the Mariana Trench, the world's deepest dwelling fish was discovered. Yet, even though the deepest part of the ocean extends almost another two miles down to 36,000 feet, scientists suspect they are unlikely to ever find a fish that lives much deeper. Far from being a big scary monster, this four inch long tadpole like fish belongs to the snailfish family but don't let its small stature fool you. This translucent and scaleless fish is regarded as being a top predator in its community and travels where no humans can ever go as it is well adapted to extreme pressure. After DNA samples and examining a female's eggs, it was confirmed that the Pseudolaparis swiri is a new species and was aptly named after Herbert Swire who discovered the Mariana Trench in 1875. Number three, the Siphonophore. During a recent deep sea expedition off the coast of Australia, scientists have identified around 30 possible new marine species, one of which is, if the measurements were accurate, the longest animal on Earth. The creature was identified to be a siphonophore, which isn't really a single animal, but actually a collection of many tiny creatures which are highly specialized to do a specific task, all of which working together for the survival of the colony. They are deep sea predators that feed by dangling stinging tentacles in the water. Small crustaceans and fish unlucky enough to swim into this curtain of tentacles are paralyzed and reeled up to the body of the colony. Being made up of possibly millions of individuals, siphonophores have the potential to grow to massive sizes, but this one is the longest so far, measuring at an estimated 150 feet long. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This photo is a highly stylized rendition of one, but it does do justice to just how creepy this fish can look. A new species of anglerfish has actually recently been discovered, and it's probably the creepiest looking one of them all. Check out number two, the humpback anglerfish. The deep sea anglerfish, also known as the humpback anglerfish, is a medium sized anglerfish that lives in the bathypelagic zone of the open ocean. Living at depths of at least 6,600 feet, this species lives its life in the complete absence of sunlight. Anglerfishes in general are named for the modified dorsal fin spine that they use to lure prey. Life in the deep sea is difficult, so many fishes there have special adaptations to improve their ability to feed and to mate. Deep sea anglerfish may not regularly encounter suitable prey, so they have very large mouths and stomachs and long, pointy teeth in order to facilitate capturing and swallowing anything that they find. They also have a lure, like all anglerfishes, that they use to attract prey. 
The deep sea anglerfish's lure is filled with bacteria that makes their own light. Using a muscular skin flap, a deep sea anglerfish can either hide or reveal its lighted lure. By pulsing the light and moving the lure back and forth, they successfully attract pelagic crustaceans, fishes, and other prey. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Ghost Octopus A U.S. rover called Deep Discoverer was surveying the seabed north of the Hawaiian archipelago when it came upon an odd octopus that none of the scientists on board could really identify. Now known as the Ghost Octopus, or Casper to some in honor of its resemblance to the friendly cartoon ghost, this species is so new that it has yet to be identified with a common name. Its discovery is notable for several reasons. It belongs to the group of Inserit octopuses, and as it was discovered swimming 2.6 kilometers deep of the Hawaiian archipelago, it is the deepest member of this group to have been discovered. The ghost octopus lays its eggs on dead sponges that grow on the seabed. Unfortunately, these areas are very slow growing and a potential target for deep sea mining. Deep sea destruction of these fragile reefs could jeopardize the species' ability to reproduce. Which newly discovered animal creeped you out the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!